going on everyone? Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. I got that brand new Radical Outer Limits today. I also got the CCD Ball Surface Scanner version 2. I'm going to go ahead and get some scans on this ball just to see where the surface is at. It looks like we're right at 2,000 grit. 2,000 grit on the outer limits. We'll take our first shot and we'll talk about this brand new piece here. Nice. So the outer limits comes with the outer limits asymmetric core. It's got the HK22 hyperkinetic cover stock, which is a hybrid reactive. Or on this ball, it's hybrid reactive. The factory finish is 500, 1000, 2000. So we were getting right about 2000 on our scans. So that's, that's good. RG of that core is 2.499, a diff of 0 0.051, and an intermediate diff of 0 0.014. Right? Nice, nice. Blended out the friction really well. I do have some games on this pair here, or on this lane here, I should say. So this would be a good time to use this bowling ball. HK22, doing some work. Good shot. Real good. So, Outer Limits does have the HK22 cover stock, brand new technology from Brunswick, the brands of Brunswick, I should say. Oh, I did not throw that very good. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh that would have been disgusting. I think I, I probably would have lost my mind there. I mean, I'm pretty hyped about that and it didn't mean to hit it. Anyways, HK22, newest popular cover stock from Brunswick. And every, every ball I've thrown that has HK22, I've really liked. This ball comes out of the box with a little bit of surface. Actually right in the middle. Not a lot of surface, not shiny. But it does come out of the box with some surface. This ball looks really good. Really good, nice continuous shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and move a little left. It's gonna be a four and two. There is a slight hook spot down the lane. But we can, we can definitely bank it off of that hook spot for sure with this ball. I don't, I don't think we will have any issues doing that. So I'm gonna move further left. Try to bank it off that hook spot down the lane that we just saw. All right. Might have been a little quick, a little right.
but that's the best part of doing these reviews. It's not, it's not gonna be all strikes. Let's try that shot again. Just kind of make sure we close it down a little bit. It's pretty good. Yeah, might have been too, a little too big of a move. I think we found the limit. Yeah, I have bowled about two games, two games on this lane thus far. So it might not be as defined as I think it is. So I'm gonna move back to the right. Throw another good shot. Yeah, yeah. Just made a wrong move. See that that is exactly why. And if you learn something at all today about bowling, and you might already know this, but you should not make moves off bad shots. Making moves off bad shots loses two or three frames like I just did. So if you're making bad shots, it really does not help you to make a move. Grabbed a little bit. Yeah, knew it was grabbed off the hand. Well, I am wiping off the ball each after each shot with a CCD band pad. Textured microfiber on one side, leather on the other. All right, let's commit to a good shot. That's pretty close. Oh my. Get the five out. That's pretty embarrassing. Good shot. Almost 5'7". Okay. So now, let's go ahead and see this ball from further right. Close down the launch angles a little bit. Good shot. So I think this ball will fit closer to like a three or four ball. Personally, it's not super strong. So as the lanes begin to transition and the bigger traction ball and even bigger continuous ball aren't shaping, this is a great ball to go to. Oh, I didn't throw that very good. It's kind of just duffed off the hand. But I guess being that far right, I kind of have to do that. But outer limits, big fan, big, big fan. Uh, let's go further right, we'll see what happens. Try to soften the hand up a little bit. Yeah, that was a little pointed off the hand. I think, especially with so much friction to the right, I have to, I have to have a little bit of a launch angle through the front part of the lane. We'll try that one more time. That's pretty close. Oh, 
That one hit it. The one earlier in the video couldn't. So with all of the HK22 cover stocks that have been coming out, what is your favorite? What is your favorite ball with HK22? Let us know in the comments. I'm looking up something real quick. Just to confirm my thoughts. Yeah, okay. For me, <laughs> just wanted to make sure it had it. it was, it's a little older. Um, brutal collision for me. It's pretty. Ah, I thought that was close. This ball is definitely not as strong as a brutal collision. Different shapes. I'll go ahead and throw the brutal now just to get a read off of it. Stronger, shiny ball. I am a massive fan of this ball. It seems like every ball review I do, I throw this ball. Yeah, in the oil, just like the last one was. But anyways, if you're interested in picking up the Brutal, uh, not the Brutal, eh, you could pick up the Brutal as well. If you're interested in picking up the Outer Limits or the Brutal Collision, because I stumbled on my words, you can get those at ccdbowling.com. Appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Lots of educational content on the channel. I am Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. Have a great day.